Hi, I'm Dr. Tio Wan Lin, an accredited dermatologist. I want to tell you something today. Everyone is born beautiful. We tell that to a child born with a birthmark, and to one without. Who are we to judge? Beauty. I quote my favorite author Oscar Wilde: "It's beauty that captures your attention, personality which captures your heart." That has been my mantra. Umberto Eco, in his book on ugliness, says, "Beauty is, in some ways, boring. Even if its concept changes through the ages, nevertheless, a beautiful object must always follow certain rules." May I proposition then that we have gotten our concept of beauty a little wrong? The same thinking that leads men and women down the road to despair, discouragement, because of society's unrealistic standards about appearances, or thinking how one is perceived by the world. Let me tell you a little tale. Beauty somehow has always been linked to youth. I first started fencing when I was 16. In fencing, 40 milliseconds separate victory from defeat. Are you conscious of time? Two decades later, my memories as a fencer are fragmented. But I will fence like it was just yesterday. I will be slower, but in my consciousness, I am the same. Every move of the opponent's blade. The closing in on distance, the anticipation. There is order in the chaos of our memory, imagination, and intention. Every little act adds up to who you are. Nature's beauty is based on an infinite pattern of determined chaos. She is also known as a fractal. She is full of surprises. She is ageless. Infinite and self-regenerating, and that is the science of beauty.